Amber Jensen, owner of Illumination Coaching and Wellness. And today we are gonna talk about hydration. So why you should be drinking water. And I know that you already know you should be, but hopefully I will give you just a little bit of information that helps inspire you to add more water to your life. So a few videos back, we talked about the different forms of self-care and drinking enough water falls into the realm of physical uh, self-care. So this is something that's simple and easy that you can do that can really help your physical body and give you more energy and help you feel better. So first things first, why is water important? Water helps us regulate our temperature and our metabolism. It helps lubricate our joints. It keeps our skin and our nose and our eyes hydrated. It also can help us feel fuller longer. So if you are trying to reduce how much you're eating, drinking more water can help uh, curb your appetite. It can also um, prevent muscle cramps too. So if you're working out, making sure that you're getting enough hydration is really important. So signs that you might not be drinking enough water are headaches and fatigue and even some lightheaded or dizziness. Now these can also be signs of other things, so make sure you talk to your healthcare professional. But what I would encourage you to do is if you're experiencing headaches or fatigue, try to up your water and see what you notice. See if it helps. It might just be that simple. So how much water do you really need, right? You should be striving to drink half of your body weight in ounces of water. So let me say that a different way. If you weigh 150 pounds, then you are striving for 75 ounces of water each day. Does that make sense? Half of your body weight in ounces. So if you're drinking no water today, please do not start trying to drink half your body weight um, in ounces of water. You will be in the bathroom constantly and your system will not feel the greatest. So start small and slowly work towards that goal. If you're only drinking two glasses of water a day right now, try to up it by one more glass. So just take these small steps so that you can get it to where uh, you want it to be and you can sustain it. You know that you're having enough water when your urine is light in color, you're needing to go to the bathroom about every two to three hours, and um, you don't feel thirsty, right? Pretty obvious. So just start to notice those things as well. Now, when you up your water, you will have to go to the bathroom more. So that should only last a few days, but just be aware of that, that as you increase your water, you're gonna have to go to the bathroom more. Um, plan for that and then it will, it will regulate, it will uh, even itself out so that it gets back to that every two to three hours. So if you don't like water, me telling you to drink more water, probably you're like, yeah, whatever, I already know. But I'm gonna suggest you try to make it fun because it's really, really important for your body. So you can do this in a couple different ways. You can get a, a water bottle that you love and find one that you know maybe has sayings on it or put some stickers on one that you have. Like make it a fun thing to look at so that you remember it and want to drink it. You can add uh, fresh fruit or herbs to your water to give it a little bit of flavor. There's also some um, like crystallized orange, um, I think it comes in lemon and lime as well, that you can add. And this is a very natural way of adding flavor to your water. I don't recommend using the artificial water enhancers that have the different um, artificial uh, flavors and dyes in them. That's not really helpful. If that's the only thing that you can do to drink your water, then doing that is fine because at least you're getting water. But try some of these other natural ways. Herbal tea, so non-caffeinated herbal tea is another great way to get your water in while having a good flavor. So just start to see if there's little things you can do that make you wanna drink more water. And then um, the other thing I would say too is you could get like a fancy cup to drink it out of, like a wine goblet or something really fun. So, or have a beautiful like pitcher in, of water in your fridge so that when you look in there, you are like, oh yeah, I gotta drink my water and it catches your eye. So you're just trying to find things that help you remember to be drinking your water. 
Personally, I have a really big water bottle, so it's 32 ounces, and I try to get one of those in before lunchtime. So when I wake up, actually, let me tell you what I do. When I wake up, I drink half of it. So just right off the bat, I get up, I come out to the kitchen, and I drink half a bottle of water. Just boom, done. Then I, that's already halfway done. And then I try to drink the other half by lunchtime. And in fact, a lot of times I drink another whole bottle of water by lunchtime. And then I'm trying to get another bottle in from lunchtime to like the end of a work day, right? And then from supper time into the evening, not too close to bedtime so that you're not up all night going to the bathroom, you try to get, for me, one more in. So I try to strive for three of those bottles of water a day, and I give myself kind of markers on when to get it done by. So that's another thing. You can kind of make it a game with yourself um, to add in the fun, like, okay, I'm gonna get this all done before lunch. And if lunchtime comes and you haven't finished, drink it all. It will also help you not eat as much at lunch. So that's the great thing about water, is it can fill you up. So drinking a glass of water before a meal really helps with portion control. So water is really important. It's important for your bodily functions. It's important for your health. There's ways that you can get water in to make it taste better and be more fun. And you might even notice some health benefits, right? So there's a lot of great reasons to drink water. I know you've heard that before, but I encourage you to make yourself a goal today. Don't go from zero to 60 ounces all at once, but make yourself a goal of getting more water in or drinking one water bottle before lunch. Find something that you can do to increase your hydration. Your body will thank you and you'll feel better by doing it. Okay, so I hope that's inspired you a little bit to get some, get hydrated. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates when I post more simple and effective self-care strategies that you can use in your busy life. Bye.